Hey guys, what's going on? As you can see, this video is a bit different than the rest of uh, my videos that I used to upload on my channel. This is my first spiral and I would like to share it with you and to show you how I messed it up. I want to tell you from the beginning that you should not really try to do the spiral on your own without any experience and it's pretty dangerous if you don't know what you have to do when you're up there in the air you can lose control very fast I think it's better if you are at least a bit experienced before you try to do a spiral and if you really want to do it at least have somebody who is going to guide you into doing it properly I'm going to do a short analysis on what went wrong so without further ado let's watch it I want to have a bit more distance from the mountain Okay, so a while ago I started learning how to spiral down with my paraglider but of course I started everything slowly and this is the end result so as I got the feeling on point or I thought so and I got more confident I did a full spiral it felt pretty good on my brakes I decided to go to the left side the descent was really nice but up to a point so what the heck was that? To have a better look let's rewind the clip So as I was in the air, I decided to do a spiral to the left. So right hand up, left hand down, my weight shifted to the left and I was now starting to spiral down very, very fast. And I felt really confident about uh, the whole situation. It was symmetrical. I was anyway very close to the ground where I should have been already out of the spiral now. But I, um, I scarred this bird emotionally and mentally for life and right about now you can see my left hand pulling down the left brake but the right brake was just barely on contact with the wing and this is the result the whole centrifugal energy has been translated into a climbing motion and I still had the forward momentum in short terms I was moving forward my wing not pay attention to the trailing edge on the right side as I am trying to stop the glider but it's just too late well sh and once again because it's so much fun and none of you should do what I did <sighs> so I realized that my biggest mistake was that I didn't even pull the right brake I didn't even stabilize the glider over my head so what basically happened is that I took all the energy from the spinning into climbing energy and when I was going up in the air the glider went behind me and when I fell back down the glider went in front of me I was not actively pulling on any brake except the left one because I was basically in that same position and that's why my glider collapsed it's a combination of um, clutch and gas like in the car you have just to learn to play properly with the, with the brakes. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, and click that bell as well for notifications. Okay, so that's a wrap. If you want to check more of me, I have uh, helpful and interesting videos on my channel as well. The links are going to pop up somewhere here. For example, for this one where I am showing you how to center a thermal and how to stay inside of it. Or in this one, how to reverse launch a paraglider. Or just click on my playlist as well to check them all. And as always, fly with passion, stay safe, and see you in the next one. Bye.